Good Sunday, everybody. Russ Mitchell coming to you from Studio 47 at the CBS Broadcast Center. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I want to give you a quick look at what's going on tonight, what we're working on for tonight's CBS Evening News. But first, let me take you around our newsroom just a little bit. This is the uh, national desk here. These are the folks coordinating our coverage around the country. Jamie McGlinchey, you may see him over there. He's having lunch right now, trying to pretend like he's not, but he is, and he's enjoying it over here. Nicole, let's try this. Let's go over here. Nicole Marks behind the camera. Did such a great job yesterday. She's back there today. Nicole, yes. we appreciate it. This is our foreign desk right there, and they're coordinating our coverage around the world. Hello, guys. All right, so here's what's going on. We're going to have the latest for you from Libya, of course. One day after President Obama said that Muammar Gaddafi must go, Gaddafi speaks to Serbian television today and says he's not going anywhere, and he blames foreigners and al-Qaeda for the unrest in this country. We're going to have the latest on that. Most of the nation's governors are meeting in Washington to try to figure out what they can do about the budget problems in their states. Forty-six states in this country are running budget deficits. Governors are meeting there. They've been meeting there all weekend, and we'll have a story from D.C. today on that. Also, the spring training baseball games began yesterday in Arizona and Florida, and we're going to tell you about a fantasy baseball camp in Arizona where people from age 35 to age 75 can go every year. You pay $4,000, and you get to play baseball with big leaguers. Sounds like fun, and it's a fun story. Anthony Mason's going to have that. All that and much more tonight on the CBS Evening News. We'll see you then.